Okay, so garden update. It's been a while. That is my very small harvest of sweet potatoes. Um, my dog got into them and ate a lot of them. So that's what I have left. That is actually sweet grass right over there. The olive tree my friend Jack gave me has gotten very big. Um, the beans kind of, my grandfather's beans kind of muddled away for a while because it got real hot, but uh, I fertilized them and it's been raining a lot. So they came back. Obviously it's been raining a lot. Um, everything's like in full flush. Just ignore the mess, you know how it is. Anyway, um, I kind of take down uh, some of the older, like the tomatoes and some of the pepper plants. And this is what we're looking like right now. You can see the uh, cucumelon. Like that lavender needs to be um, pruned. My zucchinis, the squash bugs have not gotten to them yet. I've got a few zucchinis off of them. The raspberry, I mean, this is blackberry, I apologize. Blackberry's looking good. Still have some peppers up, mostly the green chilies, because that's what I love. Um, one eggplant left. Um, this is all kicking on. And I took down, you know, some of the stuff that was here because it was just getting old and looking ugly. And this is the front yard. Um, the sweet potatoes, I don't know if any of y'all followed me last year, but I had sweet potatoes all over here instead of kicking on. So because we have such uh, temperate weather in the uh, winter, you can see one of my, this is a purple sweet potato vine, kind of sprouted from a tuber that we probably missed. And I've let that go. I took out the Rosa Rugosa because, um, I don't know if it's the heat or what, but in this, in the past three years, it has not given me any usable rose hips, so that, it's not really earning its place. Um, so what I'm actually going to try and grow next year, and I'm, it's a real risky business, is, um, white sage, sacred sage, so, um, it's real finicky to get that stuff to germinate. A rabbit made a home underneath the cucumber cucumelon and cucumber runs that that hole is pretty damn deep uh, and it's right next to my blueberry so I gotta fill that in and hope that my blueberry kind of makes it um, the zucchinis weren't really big <laughs> these are actually I think black beauty um, we gotta really dig in there to get the zucchinis but we have gotten some so I'm pretty pleased with that cut down the artemisia um, the variegated thyme I have around the edge of the garden all of that seems to be doing uh, really well still. Um, that is Doc, I believe. So, if you guys don't know, these are what cucumbers look like. These aren't the best examples because they're just picked off the ground, but yeah, it's, this is basically what they look like. And they're really good. Um, some seeds inside, but they taste like lemon and cucumbers. You can tell I've been working, huh? The elderberries got taken over by the cucumber vines because it was so hot and I got lazy and didn't come out and clear them off. So they are leafing out, but they lost a lot of leaves along the uh, branches where they were too shaded. Um, let's see, this is still going good. I love this peach colored rose. I bought another lavender and planted it here. You can never have too much lavender in my opinion. So this is a orange red skin orange flush sweet potato that sprouted from tubers we missed and I just let that go we have had a lot probably five orange glow watermelons these are my cherry like bush cherries they're doing good um so I've had a lot of orange glow watermelons I got another one coming in I bet that he gets full size before the frost because we usually don't get a frost until about November ish sometimes December me and the husband are still fighting on the mulberry, dwarf mulberry. I want to make it a bush. He wants to make it a tree. We'll see. Um, you know, all of my collards and collard crosses are starting to kind of bounce back. Peppers are starting to die down. Okay. The ginger did not flourish this year. And I'm very sure it's because it was competing with violets and strawberries so next year i will clear a very well cleared space and i will keep it cleared for the ginger pomegranate's looking good um lemongrass is out of control the peaches are starting to lose their leaves and as soon as it gets uh, nice and cold probably in december or january i will prune them i have another one um this gets not does not get a lot of sun so i doubt that one will come uh, into fruition, but we'll see. The blueberries 
all these blueberries were really puny in the last year and in the spring of this year. So I, I dug out some of the spider wart from around them. I will dig, probably dig these out. Ooh, look at that maple seed in there. Get that out. I'll probably dig out these spider warts um, just to give them some more. This is amazing. Like, I'm sorry, ADD, but all these strawberries, I literally had like three strawberry plants two years ago, and it is just a carpet under my peach trees. And there is enough for me and the rabbits at this point. So I'm really, really happy about that. That is my purple sweet potato that I'm growing on the other side of that fence, or was growing. Uh, yeah, purple sweet potato vines are very aggressive. Very aggressive. So I gotta clean all this mess up. Um, there's, oh, let me make my way. I don't even have to be that careful about where I step at this point because like, it's just a bunch of junk. Okay, so there was actually a reason I made this video, and that is, here's my turmeric. Let me show you something cool. It flowered. <laughs> that is so, so cool to me. My turmeric flowered. And um, for those of you who don't know, uh, it's, you know, it freezes here, it surely does. But um, I actually leave turmeric in the ground in my area because it will come right back. So, um, it does not freeze hard enough, I guess we're in this microclimate that it's at, because this is actually very sheltered. There's a fence, there's the house, there's a tree, it's mulched very heavily, um, so this is actually a really good microclimate for the turmeric. I am debating putting the ginger back here next year, um, because it just seems to be easier to keep clear of, uh, the strawberries and stuff because there's a line of daylilies and that kind that those daylilies really keep everything at bay. So, um, morning. Um, Aronia berry coming back. Longevity spinach doing well. The thyme. Um, these are blackberries, basically sticks that I rooted in the spring, and it has turned into a nice bush. I've trimmed it a few times to try and, <clears throat> to try and keep it upright and not leaning over and I bet I get some uh, blackberries before the end of the season. If I said raspberry, it's a blackberry. Okay, so it looks a little messy. Let me be real honest. I mean, like you don't want to probably drive by that every day, but such is fall. When it's winter time, I usually clear most of this out. And uh, if I can find mulch, I start trying to mulch over the winter. So yeah, I wish I could get free wood chips, but apparently nobody does that in my area. Um, if you look closely, you can see there is some peppermint fighting with the strawberries, fighting with this purple wandering Jew that I wish I never planted. I, and when I say I, I mean my husband helped me a lot, dug up the purple Jew that was right here, and we put my St. John's wort, which has spread vigorously, which is fine. This is a contained garden. I want, you know, I put all the things, the mints, the crazy strawberries, and the St. John's wort here, they will fight with each other, but there's plenty of room for each, and I can harvest the St. John's wort next year. So, um, my great grandmother's rose, my mama calls it a Mother's Day's rose. You can see, look at this, this is all mint. This is all mint. Just dried up in the heat. But, there it is, coming back. So, I don't, you know, I don't worry, all oh, that's mint. I'm not worried about any of that. I will need to trim this up because it's looking really ragged, but, um, okay, so that is. That is the overview of the garden. It's a wild one, but you know what? I've eaten out of here a lot. I've had berries, I've had watermelons, I've had peppers. And there's my fig. Next year I'm gonna have figs. Um, I've had cucumbers, I've had cucumons, I've got uh, zucchinis, basil. I didn't get any apples this year because they're still kind of young plants. I have gotten eggplants and all the herbs and um, beauty and flowers and you know, this is all legitimately all in my front yard. Like, I don't even have a vegetable garden. And I've eaten all of that out of here. Chives, garlic. I don't know if I said raspberries and blackberries, but I did. Anyway, that's the update, y'all.